Alright, gang, we back with part two of Cat Williams calling calling comedians out, man. He's not taking no prisoners, he's not playing no games, he's not sparing nobody. But before we get to the video, like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications so you don't miss out. Share the video as well. Share with your mama, your cousin, your daddy, your auntie, your grandpa, your baby, your baby's baby. Share the video. I'm doing my thing, y'all. You cannot say I'm not doing my thing. At least in the comments down below if you want to see something specific. But let's get to this part two. And uh, let's get it. Was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It didn't happen. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies. But Jesse Smollett gonna keep lying until you say we don't believe you. Mm -hmm. Like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What powerful. do you mean again? He's like, These I people still are am. not powerful. Satan can't create anything. God got the last session. That includes blessings for his people. Mm -hmm. That's why. Do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. Why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? If what I say ain't the case. It's a cabal. It's a it's a consortium. Yeah, he's been in comedy they, for a minute. They rock with who they rock with and they don't with who they don't. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. Right. They have all the assets and resources, mm -hmm. and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy, boy, and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. Because Shannon Sharp got to be a different person than that other person. Absolutely. And he always was. Yep. That doesn't change when I change teams. That remains the same. That's how a legacy is built. So all of these shortcut takers, I, I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my penis in what front the, who of all Harvey my people Weinstein? at my agency. What am I supposed to do? Who the hell's Harvey Weinstein? He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did to get it. <laughs> I told yeah, him what no, did what y'all do? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. Behind my back, I'm nothing. I'm just a regular old comedian that's bitter and jealous. But in my face, no, no, no. The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. I've not been funded. They pay you to not talk about things they don't <laughs> want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is when he stopped stand up, he didn't have those seven TV I shows. I didn't know he had seven he TV shows. He stopped stand up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. And I went in and that's why he couldn't do stand-up anymore imagine him coming to tell Dang. you another story where he got so big and it was bernie and them's fault because they wanted to be movie stars what you called ocean 11 to get that nigga's part what do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star so on the behalf of Bernie, he, 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 I, he's I would have to say what tea. I have to say. Have you, ever been on, have you ever been on tour with any of these guys? The guy, I, every guy I mentioned to you is not funny out there in real life. Hey, look, Kat is basically telling us, y'all, that freaking Steve Harvey, Cedric, them niggas is faking, fake uh, comedians. They're not really comedians. They got folks writing jokes for them. He, he the only real comedian out there. That's what he's saying. That's crazy. But if you think about it, I mean, they are actors, so I don't know. He might be going somewhere with this. So, no. Faison's never done his own tour in 30 years. Steve Harvey don't do stand-up no more. Cedric doesn't write. I'm sorry. He doesn't write. See? Ricky Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Like, you can't get a young fan base with that. 
Definitely. Like, you got to be doing karaoke around the country to make that work. Right. And he is. But I'm a stand-up comedian. This is my 19th 100-city tour. I'm not going to have Damn. a conversation with these lazy bums that'll take a shortcut at any point. Yes, it's easier for you to juice than to get in the gym. But you don't get to bring that body in here talking crazy. Talk about how good you look. What? No, no, there's too many w comics out there that are putting their life on the line to tell these jokes, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get to your upbringing. We're gonna circle back and we'll get some, huh? I want to protect him real quick, because you had said for the Kings of Comedy, it was in 2018, 2019, but did you mean 1999? Because it came out in 2000, so I just want to make- No, I didn't, no, no. So what I meant to say was, remember, he said, I couldn't do stand-up anymore. I had seven TV shows. I said he didn't have any of those TV shows at the time. I know, you're talking about, you talking about Cedric. Joke stealing from Cedric. Yeah, Cedric. Oh, okay, so, okay. 2018, 2019, but it came out in 2000, so I just want to make sure you... Okay, no, 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 no. What comes out in 2000? The, the original Kings of Comedy. Right, my... I'm on BET's Comic View, and they're using this as the commercial in 1998. Okay. That's why I'm saying... Yeah. So if I yeah. So if I yeah. said the dates wrong. Uh, he, he, yeah. So yeah. He clarified let's go ahead and clear that up. Okay. You said. Yeah. I had Cedric on here and I asked him about the joke stealing yeah. and he said the timeline doesn't add up. Correct. To your to to that point you say. Right. So he thought that I was just a no name comedian and that he could take this joke and nobody would know. Right. The issue was that I had already done this particular joke on BET's Comic View twice. Right. It had done so well on BET's Comic View that they had made it part of the commercial. So part of the I commercial of, of make sure you tune in to BET was you seeing me doing this joke. Right. And this joke is one of those jokes in comedy where you set it up and it takes a little longer to set it up, it takes about three minutes, but then you're just hitting them with jokes after right. that because you don't have to set it up. Right. Uh, Mark Curry had already helped me work on this joke because I thought it was good because I was getting a standing ovation on it. He had me go back in the lab and help me craft it to be an even more... I'm confused on what he's saying, like, this person helped them work on the joke like i thought these comedians like i said was literally coming with coming up with their own material like they got somebody helping them with their material like niggas is like i said people ain't really just as funny it started out in 97 it's one of those jokes in comedy where you set it up and it takes a little longer to set it up. It takes about three minutes. But then you're just hitting them with jokes after right. that because you don't have to set it up. Right. Uh, Mark Curry had already helped me work on this joke My because bad, I thought it was bad. good because I was getting a standing ovation on it. He had me go back in the lab and help me craft it to be an even more powerful joke. So this is not just a random joke. This is my very best joke, <laughs> and it's my last joke, and it's my closing joke. Okay. 1998, I'm doing this joke, it's on Comic View. Cedric comes to the comedy store. He watches me in the audience. He comes backstage. He tells me what a great job I did and how much he loves the joke. Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy. And he's doing it verbatim. He's he just in changed it? my car into what is a spaceship. That? Him and Steve had already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass for a decade. Why would you sit here and be like, I talked to, I saw Cat 30 times, <laughs> and Cat didn't do, as I stand before you, Shannon. I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> he said he would have, what the hell? Hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He said he was gonna he would have bust that man's stomach. What the hell? He said, I would have bust Cedric's in nineteen ninety-eight. Hold on. That's why I'm saying yeah, so if I yeah, so if I yeah. said the dates wrong. I done went yeah. too far so, back. Let's go ahead and clear that up. Okay. That nigga said you I would have bust his yeah. stomach. I had Cedric on here, and I asked him about the joke stealing, and yeah. he said the timeline doesn't add up. Correct. To your to to that point, you say, 
Right. So he thought that I was just a no-name comedian and that he could take this joke and nobody would know. Right. The issue was that I had already done this particular joke on BET's Comic View twice. Right. It had done so well on BET's Comic View that they had made it part of the commercial. So part of the Let's commercial see. of make sure you tune in to BET was you seeing me doing this joke. I just want right. to go back to the belly part, y'all. one of those Let's jokes see. in comedy where you set it up and it takes a little longer to set it up. It takes about three minutes. Well, but I'll then you're just hitting back. them with jokes after right. that because you don't have to set it up. Right. Uh, Mark Curry had already helped me work on this joke because I thought it was good because I was getting a standing ovation on it. He had me go back in the lab to help me craft it to be an even more powerful joke. So this is not just a random joke. This is my very best joke, <laughs> and it's my last joke, and it's my closing joke. Okay. 1998, <clears throat> I'm doing this joke. It's on Comic View. Cedric comes to the comedy store. He watches me in the audience. He comes backstage. He tells me what a great job I did and how much he loves the joke. Two years later, he's doing that as his last joke on the Kings of Comedy. And he's doing it verbatim. He's just changed my car into a spaceship. Mm. Him and Steve had already apologized for me, so I gave him a pass for a decade. Why would you sit here and be like, I talked to, I saw Cat 30 times, <laughs> and Cat didn't do, as I stand before you, Shannon. I would have bust Cedric's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing that would have kept me from one of these in, in that patch right there. Like, are yeah. you kidding me? Why would you downplay me like that? Why did I give you a pass if you were just going to lie? And so that's what I'm saying. Like, they're all a group. Cedric, Steve, Ricky, they've been a group. Everybody knows that. They've been aligned. And, and there are these alliances in comedy. And if you stand against them, then they sometimes have a problem. But... We don't let that change the content because that's all you know me for is that I'm quite likely to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. Yeah. Now, I'm reading Cat Williams won Cedric the Entertainers and Heiser Bush Best, L Best Los Angeles Comic Award. Did you win that award, won Cat Williams? It's a simple yes or no. It's not a rhetorical question. Mm -hmm. It's a question that probably should have been asked to Cedric the Entertainer. I'm asking you. I got you here, though. I know. I couldn't <laughs> believe Cedric didn't get asked that question. <laughs> you still a dude's joke and then give him an award, and then 10 years later, you don't know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I, but I promise you this. What? If he sees me again before he sees you, he'll be talking different when you see him. Dang. That's for certain. That's the difference. <laughs> That's what these comics understand, is that I'm not doing nothing for clout. I don't even recognize clout. But eventually, the Lord is going to let then me he said and you be in one If he hallway. sees him again, before he sees him. A lot of these dudes go. Different. That man stand on business. Kevin Hart done went 25 years without ever being in the same building with me at the same time. What, so what, if what? I go in the building, he walk out. You've never seen us in the same building ever in 25 years. That's right. Like, I wonder why. It's like that. <laughs> why? Why? Yes. Because what? I'm really the product. It's not what you think. I am never under the influence of anything. I'm always in my right mind. I'm always a physical specimen. And when you see me, I'm much, much bigger than you had thought. I have far less play in me than you would like. Hey. And I'm relentless. I'm out there. I'm still, to this day, I play 11 games of basketball with a 20-year-old. The record is 92 and 6. This is just in the yard, just <laughs> to the rack, just because... It's in you work out cat? I mean, no, you work out cat? Uh, not to the gym. You don't work out in the gym? Not you push-ups, sit-ups? My whole life, it was um, it was just push-ups and sit-ups only. I would do, like, um, 100 push-ups a day, just... I thought you were going to say 1,000. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> because this is literally every day. Right. This is not for the, yeah. 
for the gram. You know what I mean? Like, uh, literally 100 a day. And I would do push-ups, and then I tore both my rotator cuffs. And so it was only thanks to golf that I was even able to get my... You a golfer now? Back. I, I've been a golfer for quite some time. My short game is impeccable. I I, I can't get you but, but two and some change off of the... Um, the tee. Off the tee, but I'm still... I'm, I'm, I'm still his coming legs in for must be hurting. I mean, rubbing the hell out of his legs. Are you playing for the tips? Uh, no. I've, I've found that you don't get anything for that. <laughs> it seems like, it seems very egomaniacal. They go, hey, cat, for free, you can go further back. <laughs> hey, what? Wait a minute, does it still count the same? Hey, I'm up at the ladies' tee. Don't tell me my pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> On the golf course, I'm she, her, him, them, and they. Whoever, whoever at the front tee. We're, I know we're joking, we're having a great conversation, but you did win the award. How did the award <laughs> help your career? It had to help some, Cat. Nope. Nope. God, come on, Cat. I didn't remember it happened until you just said it. Set, how can Cedric give you an award that was worth something? Everything Cedric and Ricky Smiley ever been in got canceled for not being funny. Ricky sat here and told you that they cut him out of every movie he did. They always had a reason. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> that's why I'm funny, because I'm a happy person. I laugh all day long. I can't even imagine <laughs> he said, Come on, very, the misery of these bums. Come on, very <laughs> <thing. laughs> <laughs> Just to not be good at what you do, not work hard at what you do, but have to act like you're the best at what you do. It is crazy. It's crazy. But they be touring, they, they, they be doing like 100 shows a year. That's me. <laughs> That's me. I don't run into none of them. That's what I'm saying. If you a phase I love fan, you mean you've been a fan of him for 32 years, you still waiting on him to do his first special? You mean to tell me if Steve Harvey, your favorite comedian, you mean you've been waiting for him to do stand-up for 15 years now? I mean, Steve got a, got a, a lot of other... DL, DL's still out there. None of those irons oh, matter to really stand-up. Who cares that they wrote a placard for you to do Family Feud on? Like, you're, uh, so you're successful because we're surprised you can talk for a living and it's entertaining that you're going to say some funny country things. But not a writer. Right. Not a writer. When you got into stand-up, was crossing over, was doing TV, was doing movie, was that a, was that a part of it? You're like, okay, I'm, gonna do, I, I'm doing stand-up, okay. Next, next, the, the next progression is TV movies. Throughout, throughout the history of stand-up, sir, that's, that's the goal for all of us. That's how it goes. That's why when you hear these dudes talking about, oh, I didn't want to be a movie star, you just know it's disingenuous. Like, what are you talking about, dude? Yeah, oh, no, no, I just wanted to do a game show. Right. What? <laughs> so you sure? I just wanted to do a game show. Are you sure? Are you? Because I thought you, you sure? did Mark Curry's show over after he had just done hanging with Mr. Cooper. Why would you do all of that man's stuff that he did on his show on yours and then do the dude stand-up when you go on the road? And then you never put Mark Curry on your show or nothing. Like, if you don't say anything, these dudes will run yeah, over you. I don't know if you know you. how bullies operate. I but do. if you don't stand up for yourself, there really is nothing they won't do. Right. So. Do you consider yourself a king of comedy? Where the, where the no, they, they consider that. Oh, that. Like, like when, after Bernie left, them same three guys I'm telling you about, the kings. Yeah. Right? Because DL is the greatest. Yeah. There's, there's no DL slander gets tolerated. Um, but they came to me. I was supposed to be the fourth king. I got the offer. Then what happened? But I turned it down. So why? Because you shit on Bernie. And I know the truth. You think I'm gonna let you shit on Bernie and then come get me? I'm the next king? Fuck you. <laughs> Why? Because the whole time Bernie was here, you was acting like you was funnier than him. The reason you was supposed to go last is because it was Mac, your Bernie tour. Was oh, Tell yeah, the Bernie truth. was kind of It was funny. Steve's tour. Not it was gonna be called the Kings of Comedy, it was Steve's tour. These are the guys opening for him. Of course, you gotta close if it's your tour. That's why it was such a big deal. But you couldn't do it, because you can't beat the best. And until you humble yourself, you will forever be kinged by the king. 
And because you finally did it, because you didn't have no other choice, and now that he gone, you gonna act like, he wanted to be a movie star. You stop it. <laughs> you stop, you stop, it. stop it. That man was funnier than all of y'all, and y'all thought y'all had one over on him. You thought he was black and ugly, and you were good looking, and he couldn't make it, because you did. And that ain't the way comedy works. The king is the funniest, period, every time. And that's why no audience member was ever swayed. It didn't matter where Bernie went. You think if Bernie went first, he wasn't the king? <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Get your ego out of this. You let the best be the best, right? Cat, mm. Cat Williams, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming on, bro. I really appreciate that. Thanks for sharing the, Thank you. the stories. Setting the record straight. That now, was a good little little uh, episode, I think, y'all. If I must say so, like, comment, subscribe, share my videos, man. Share them. That's how we're gonna get out it there. Share the videos. It's not costing nothing. I mean, if you're watching it, why not share the video? Why not tell your friend to tell your friend to tell that friend to tune into a system, man? I'm taking over this year. We're on the road to the big 500. But until next time, turn me up. No, turn me down. Let's get.